Hi, how are you doing? It's Jeff Sinker from SkypeGuitarLessonsOnline.com Got my acoustic guitar out and we're going to be looking at the, um, I wouldn't say the, the new song, but uh, pretty much the, the song that has been pushed quite a lot now on the radio. Uh, it's the song Perfect from Ed Sheeran, which apparently was the first song he actually wrote for his new album Divide. Now he does use some very easy chords, some uh, beginner chords, very easy to play this song. First of all, we're going to go through the chords, but I do want to point out that to play this with the record, you have to have a capo on the first fret. So the first chord is a G chord. And this G chord, we are going to be putting our third finger on the B string on the third fret and our little finger on third finger third fret of the high E. Now we're going to leave them two fingers there and we're going to play an E minor 7. So we're just moving our fingers down from this G shape at 2, 2 on the A, 2 on the D. Then we play a C at 9, which is just 3 on the A and 2 on the D. Then we take off our little finger, keeping that third finger still on the B string, and we just play a normal D chord. So let's have a look how Ed Sheeran plays this song. Now, on the G chord, what we're playing is we're going to hit the E string, the low E string of the chord, and we are going to play G and B string. Now, I use my first and my second finger for that. So these fingers here on the G and the B are going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And we're going to play the thumb on the 1. So we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Move to the E minor, we do the same thing, we're playing the low E, still playing the G and the B. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Move across to the C, add 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. On the D, we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1. Then we just put this little kind of Thing, uh, he's playing a D sus4, so we've got our little finger that he plays back down. If you don't want to do that, you can just continue just going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then we go back to the G chord. Now the verses we play through that sequence of the G, E minor, C, D twice. Now let's have a look how we play the pre-chorus, which again very, very similar is uh, what we're going to do though is just on certain chord changes instead of playing one, two, three, four, five, six and repeating it for the chord, we're going to half that time. So we start off with this G, that's a normal one, E minor, C, four, five, six. Now on the G we get one, two, three, four, five, six, D, two, three, four, five, six. So we've got that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, D, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Back to the G. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. To the E minor. Then we got C. Then D. Then he holds on that last one. Now for the chorus, we are going to be halving the gel. We're going to be changing the chord more often, so we're going to be changing it after the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, we start off with the E minor, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, C, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, G, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, D, 3, 4, 5, 6, E minor, C, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, G, D, E minor, Now there is this nice little melodic phrase that he plays at the end of the first chorus uh, and I'll play it through and then we'll break it down. So what we're doing there is we're playing the low E string across the G chord and then we're playing the B string 
and the G string. We then lifting our finger and moving our first finger up to second fret on the low E, still keeping them two fingers there, and we're playing this second fret F sharp, B and the G string. Take the fingers off, go across to the E minor, and we play open E string. Then we go across to the D, and we're going to play D, and then B and the G string to the C, and then back to the D. And for the D, we're going to play high E, B to the G, back to the high E, and back again. Then he goes back to another verse, which is going back to the G. So as you can see, very, very easy song to play through. Uh, we've got the verse, we have the pre-chorus, and we have the chorus lines. All using the same chords, just different orders, which is typical of Ed Sheeran when he writes his music. If you are uncomfortable playing that stamp, you can strum it. And all you're going to do is just strum down. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to play Perfect by Ed Sheeran. All the chords, chord charts can be downloaded from the website by clicking on the link below. So, I do hope you've enjoyed it and uh, I look forward to seeing you again soon on one of my further lessons. Until then, it's Jeff Sinker from SkypeGuitarLessonsOnline.com wishing you well, thanks for your company and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye bye.